Thanks, Jay. Well, I'm here with Mike Gillespie, and he is here to take your plant care questions, so feel free to call in. Uh, the number is right at the bottom of your screen. But, Mike, to start us off, I mean, we're kind of having some funky weather right now, mm -hmm. we're, but we're getting some rain, which is good, right? Always. It's always good to get the, the moisture. Uh, <clears throat> there's good and a bad side to that. If we get it this time of the year, we're going to see a few weeds start to pop up, fall and winter weeds pop up, winter grasses and things like that. If you hadn't applied your pre-emergent, you might want to go ahead and do that. You might have missed a few things. Uh, in your dormant season grasses like your Bermudas and your Zoysias and things like this, make sure they're all the way dormant before you try to control these weeds that may have escaped and come on up. If you've got St. Augustine, you've got to be careful. It keeps them green all year round, so you can't spray things like Roundup or any non-selective herbicides. You're going to damage that. Uh, now's a good time with the nice weather to go ahead and finish cleaning up. Uh, a lot of people are going to have some... Uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving uh, company, so now's the time to do that. All right, Mike. Well, we have our first caller on the on the line, so let's see what they have to say. Hi, caller. Are you on there? Yes, I'd like to know: Is it time to cut the lantana back, or do we have to wait till it gets worse looking when it has a bigger, harder uh. freeze? That's a good question. Uh, visually, it's going to tell us. If you don't really see any green anywhere down to the ground, if it all looks pretty much dead, then go ahead and trim it back. I know it looks really bad right now, but we have to let Mother Nature do its thing. Uh, if it's the first year of planting, a lot of times you can take some leaf debris that's falling off the surrounding trees and rake them up and then mound them over that and leave them there probably until next March, April. Let's leave it on top there. That will help protect it through the bad cold. And just remember, if it doesn't rain that much, every once in a while you have to put a little moisture on there just to keep the soil around the root system viable. All right. Well, we got another caller, so let's see what they have to say. Hi, caller. You on there? What? Uh, when is the when is the best time for uh, for country to be cut back? Okay, most of your deciduous trees, those trees that lose their leaves, obviously need to be dormant completely about four to six weeks prior to doing any pruning. So right now we're still seeing a leaf fall off the, some of the trees. <coughs> Once they lose all their leaves, you can kind of mark it on your calendar and go at least four to six weeks out. Traditionally, that's been between mid-January and mid-February if you're going to do a major trimming. If it's just a few limbs here and there, you're not going to hurt anything by going ahead and taking those off now. All right, well, let's talk about some things that we could be planting right now. Uh, right, you know, as far as what we established now, grass-wise, you can put down an annual ryegrass if you wanted to have some cover over the winter, not just have a dead-looking lawn. You can always use fescue, although it's a perennial grass, so it's going to stay there all year. As far as color goes, you can use pansies, ornamental cabbage and kale, snapdragons. We're a little bit past the mum season here. Uh, dianthus are good. Uh, some other things like that, alyssum and things like this, will give you some winter color until we get into the dead of the winter. But the pansies and viola are going to give us color all through the season, probably until next March or uh, April, and then we'll switch it out. All right, let's take one more quick question. Okay. Hi, caller, you're on the air. Good morning. Uh, I just had a question. When can we expect to see the uh, Christmas trees come in? And also, uh, I was just checking, what happened to the other gentleman who used to do this? Thank you. Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie works at Bestex now. He's been over there about three years, and that's on the other side of town, so he just pitched it all to me. I hope that's okay. Uh, actually, my first load of Christmas trees for me is coming in Saturday, and then uh, I get my secondary load on Monday. I probably won't put them up, put a cut on and put them up until at the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, that way we don't have to babysit them too much. Just remember on, on uh, fresh cut trees, you want to make sure that if they don't do it where you buy it, that you just put a fresh cut on it before you take it home and put it in the water <clears throat> because the bottom is sealed over. It won't continue to take moisture. So there's some tip, tips we'll talk about on the next time that I come in about how to take care of Christmas trees. And you won't be in next week. It's the following week. Right. This right. time of year we do it every other week. Uh, there's just not that much to talk about. Next week will be Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving anyway. Yes. Uh, so uh, it, we do it every other week. All right. Well, thank you so much, sure. Mike, for coming in. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.